uh, the FBI and CIA put on all the radio stations that there would be a shootout at the funeral between the U.E. Newton's group and the elders, so it wasn't that well attended. Uh, Beverly, Somalia, and the, the other Panther sisters, they had a little group called the Revolutionary Charge. Uh, we made a, a beautiful flag, and Harrison and Ross was in, char uh, was in charge of everything. None of her, none of her parents or her, and nobody in her family showed up. So everything was on me, and I was, I was just like a walking zombie. I had to go way out to get the programs and everything. And um, one very important person spoke here, Yvonne Brathwaite Burke. Mm -hmm. She spoke here, and that was good. So at the services, I asked uh, that a collection be. Uh, taken up to help me to pay for the funeral and the FBI and CIA guys put silver pennies in the collection and I never will forget that. Okay. I was just asking how come the family had didn't have one anything to do with her uh, just because of the shootout. Yeah. Um, during, during that time, everybody feared for their lives, including me, and uh, everybody was saying, oh, be careful, and people saying this one's going to shoot out that one, and then we had people in from New York and all over, and we were just sleeping from house to house, so I don't know why they never showed up, but uh, they did. All right. Okay, our next stop. Jack, Julio Butler. Oh, oh Julio Lord. Butler. Oh, Lord. <laughs> The informer. He went to this church, and he was protected by this church for a long time. He was on the deacon's board. Uh, what's that? General Butler. Then he get out of there when drama got out. What's that? He got out of that church with protests, right? Right. Well, this church. Under Chuck Murray protected them for years. Four years, many years. This church uh, was well connected with the Democratic Party, right? And the politicians in Los Angeles. So I do believe the good Reverend, at one point, when folks were pressuring, the good Reverend lost his uh, ability to communicate and he started using profane words. <laughs> so, as you know, Geronimo did 27 years for no other reason other than he was an effective leader in the Black Panther Party. And it, it was set up by the FBI. The FBI lied and said that there were no uh, informants, but it came out later in 1997. At a hearing conducted, what's the uh, first lawyer? John was first lawyer. Yeah, I mean the other lawyer. Uh, Stuart. Yes, Stuart Hamlin and Johnny Cochran stayed on it. There was a hearing in June 1997. Several hearings in June 1997, and proved that uh, Julio Julio Butler was an informant. Julio Butler. Julio Butler presented a letter saying that Geronimo Pratt had confessed to him that he had done a killing. And that's what that's what the whole case was about. Julio Butler saying Geronimo Pratt. But Julio Butler was in our homes. He was a panther. And nobody knew he had turned uh, informant. And so that's the way that was. He was a sheriff. And uh, yeah. And they also made him, a, he was a hairdresser and a lawyer. And so he was all that. But he has expired of cancer. Oh, did he? Did he? All right. We're all going to uh, Adams and Montclair.